Good morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. It's T-shirt Tuesday. I'm wearing a T-shirt that's very important to me that I've had for a very long time. And Flame encouraged me to make sure that I continue to fold my laundry. So thanks, Flame. Outside, it is going to be 61 degrees. It's going to rain in the beginning of the day. It's going to rain in the middle of the day. So we're just going to persevere through this wet weather. And Dragons, we thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk about germs, since germs have been a topic uh, of focus these last two months or so. Germs are all over, unfortunately, but they are tiny organisms that cause different illnesses and different diseases, and we build immunity to germs. It's not as if we get sick automatically, but we want to highlight that our hands are the number one carriers of germs that we have. That's why the Center for Disease Control, or the CDC, tells us that we should wash our hands. For how long, Flame? That's right, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So germs can live on your hands for up to three hours. I thought that was interesting. And there are millions of them on your palms and your fingertips and the back of your hands. So when we wash for 20 seconds, what we do is we break down that bacteria, and then when we rinse it, when we turn the water back on, the soapy water carries the germs with them. But if we're not careful, Flame, the wetness, the damp moisture that stays on our hands can create more germs. So you gotta remember to not only wash your paws, but to dry your paws with a clean towel. So we thought it'd be neat to show a quick demonstration on maybe what it looks like when soap comes in contact with germs. So we have a few things here and we want to show you. Um, we have a plate, we've got a cup of water, we've got some black pepper, and we've got a big bottle of soap, which we'll get to shortly. So I'm going to scooty scoot a little closer. I'm going to pour some water into this plate. Okay, just a little, not too, too much. Uh, a little more, there we go. Okay. So now I'm going to take some pepper, and when I take the pepper, dragons, I'm going to shake it, and the pepper is going to stay at the surface of the water. See that? Okay, so the surface tension, it's called surface tension, allows the pepper to float, because pepper is pretty light, and the particles in the pepper allow it to float. So now all I'm going to do, I'm going to try to balance. Flame, help me, please. Thank you, Flame. I've got the soap here, and I'm not going to pour it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pointer finger, and I'm just going to circle the top of the soap dispenser here. And I'm going to take my finger dragons, and check this out. I hope you can see it. I'm just going to touch the middle of the plate, just like that. And look what happens. The pepper shoots to the side. And it is a detractor. When I put my finger in, the pepper goes and it breaks up the surface tension. The soap on my hand breaks the surface tension and pushes the pepper out to the side, right? So once the surface tension comes back together, the pepper can come back together. If I have any more soap on my hands, I can push down, and look at that, it goes to the side again, right? And this demonstration is meant to highlight that if we just use a little bit of soap on our hands for all the bacteria that are on our hands, it can shoot away, and then when we rinse it off, it goes down the drain. And hopefully we practice those types of good hygiene, and this will be a helpful reminder. Dun, 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 dun. It's time for the birthday box. Got a good feeling about today, Flame. It is a terrific Tuesday. And who'd have thought, Flame, we have two birthdays that these two people have the same last name. Ah, wow. So Gianna Ramos in Miss Hennessy's class is having a birthday. And Sarah Guzman Ramos in Miss Lawton's class is having a birthday today. Happy birthday, you two. We hope that it's terrific. The mail came. Let's see what we've got in the mail. All right. 
Dear Flame, I would like to share my beauty list with you. Nice. The only cardinal and my blue jay in my area. The lake near my house. The pink roses seen by my balcony. Chirping of birds. My stuffed kitty. My calm bottle. Well, we could all use a calm bottle, especially someone over here. The painting in my house. And Miss Tekum. Thanks for reading. Sincerely, Anika Gupta in fourth grade. Thanks, Anika. That's fantastic. I know Miss Tekum will be happy to hear that as well. And look at this, Flame. Dear Flame, we want to tell you that we already had two cups of caterpillars at our house, and they became butterflies. Remember when we showed dragons last week that we had cups of butterflies? Or cups of caterpillars that are going to become butterflies. We set them free on Sunday. We hope you have as much fun watching them grow as we did. Love, Emma and Lily Thomas. Look at that. You can see those beautiful yellow and orange butterflies. Oh, good job, Emma. Good job, Lily. And thanks for writing and sharing that with us. And we can always count on Miss Flaherty. Let's see what Miss Flaherty has to say today. Hi, dragons. I found this cool fact and wanted to share it with you. Did you know the United States creates 268 million tons of trash each year? Whoa. Do, you do what you can to use the things that you have. Flame, can you guess the top three things that we waste? I feel like you know this, right? So what do you think the three things that we waste the most are, dragons? We waste paper, we waste food, and we waste plastic the most. We did a lot of research on that last week, but yeah, paper is a fourth of all the waste we have, and then food and plastic. So we've got to take better care of all the trash that we use. A special thank you to all the dragons that learned with us yesterday. We hope you have more exciting times ahead of you today and beyond. Lots of love, Miss Flaherty. That's nice, and I'll tell you, Flame, I got to see a handful of classrooms yesterday. I got to see Mr. Chitroma's class. That was really fun. I saw Miss Nill's class. They were having a great time. We stopped in Miss Tecum's class, and we saw Miss Hicks' class. Everybody was having a good time. And so thank you to all the teachers that are making this possible. If you want to write about an experience you're having and let Flame know about it, please let us know. We want to thank the Thomas family and we want to thank Anika. That was fantastic that they wrote us. And speaking of fantastic Flame, we were on an expedition when we were cleaning and we found a whole bunch of books and we wanted to share it with the Camelot community. So look at this, dragons. We already talked about Diary of a Wimpy Kid, right? This is the first book, and we mailed a bunch of those. We found seven copies of the second book. Look at that. If you don't believe me, ta-da, seven copies, brand new copies of the second version, Roderick Rules. So if you want a copy of Roderick Rules, put a note to flame in the internet and let us know. We also found, and you can see they're still in the plastic, six copies of Because of Winn-Dixie. Right? Never used. So if you want Roderick Rules or Because of Winn-Dixie, let us know. We'll get it in the mail right away. We're going to start reading those two books as soon as the show's over. But we want to hear from you and we want to make sure that you have a book in your hand and that you're having a great time. On behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Salerno. Wash your paws, it's T-Shirt Tuesday, stay dry, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, dragons.